Do you do you find that the new music is uh, th- and, and that's where my original question was going to be? Do you think the new music is breaking more uh, substantially on streaming versus radio, or do you think you guys are still setting the tone for breaking the new music? You know, I, I know it's, it goes hand in hand, it's like a li- you said. It's a little bit of both. It's a little right? bit of both. Yeah, yeah. Because the, here's the thing about stream: they they can afford to you know put so many songs uh, up and 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 go through them a lot quicker, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas radio has a very uh, a lot shorter playlist for a longer period of time. Uh-huh. So again, yeah. they got a longer playlist for a shorter period of time. We have a shorter playlist for a longer period of time. So. Um, and don't you think also that radio is really has to be a little bit more local and have their ear to the streets a little bit more, the DJs on radio, and really kind of bring in that local sound and really push it on the radio and, and really break the kind of like local artists and like local music? Because I don't know if Rap Caviar is going to be that centralized. Mm-hmm. And then, so, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, if I, if I land in Atlanta, mm-hmm. I'm, that radio show should be totally different than, obviously, Miami and L.A. Mm-hmm. And that's where I think radio is important because those DJs really got to be the ear to the streets, you know? So, I've, been, I've, been, I've had this conversation for 20 years now. <laughs> um, and, and, and it's all good. So, here's the thing. The listeners in your city... Yeah. determine what the radio stations play. Mm-hmm. And I've had yeah. this conversation with artists for many years, many different types of artists, um, many different times. Sometimes the same artists, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But here, here's the thing. The, um, the listener determines what we play as a radio station. And can we play something that the listeners, this is how I tell artists, yeah. can we t- play something that our listeners aren't really interested in? Yes, but why would we when the, the, ra- the, the, name, the, the game of radio is to play music that the, the majority of the listeners want to hear at any one given time so that they stay tuned in mm-hmm. to make it to the commercial break. That's where the money's being spent mm-hmm. on the advertising. And, um, and it's a business. You know, it, it's, it really is, it, it, it is exactly that. So what I tell artists is like, especially now in today's age, if you want a radio station in your city to play your song, you want to hear it in rotation as much as you hear um, uh, uh, Migos and and uh, uh, the Baby, mm-hmm. then you have to you have to go do the footwork that that allows our listeners to discover you outside of terrestrial radio. And if 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 you think that you, you're going to get a record deal because your record was played on Power 106, you're, you're probably wrong. Uh, and that's been the case forever. You know, really? Has there been records that I've played over the years that got somebody a record deal? Yes. Um, that has definitely changed. And to get into more of your question, yeah. so do I believe radio is, is relevant for breaking artists? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, do I feel like the streaming has, has tapped into that in a different way? Absolutely. Right. And, 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 and we, now we're getting into a conversation about, you know, social media and, you know, sometimes somebody that has a crazy social media following that might not be the most talented singer or rapper in the world, most time rappers, can all of a sudden, you know, why is this kid selling streaming crazy? Number, streaming numbers are crazy. Well, it's because he's got a social media following mm-hmm. that for whatever reason, maybe it's the way the kid looks. Maybe it's the way she, she looks. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and so all of a sudden, those streaming numbers are there, but is that really a true gauge of, you know, offering somebody a record deal? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but here's what I will say. When you get your, th- th- people have asked me, like, do these younger artists really care? Like, when they come up, you know, do they care about getting played on the radio? Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and I can give you multiple examples. Um, do they really understand the importance of it? Of I don't it? know. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. Um, but I do know this: they it is a huge deal to them when they hear their radio, uh, their song played on a radio station. They can get in the car. It's something about you know, you're on a radio station. Right. Uh, you're not. It, whereas, I, I, here's what I think it is: when they when when they when they hear their song on Spotify. Mm-hmm. They know that, well, I'm hearing it because I just played it. 
Mm -hmm. I'm hearing it because my buddy in the car just hit play. And we're the only ones hearing it at this time, you know, right, right now. Right. Yeah. There's probably a shit ton of other people streaming it. Yeah, yeah. But we don't know how many at this given moment. We just know that it's us two listening to it in the car. Yeah. Whereas with radio, they they have this, oh man, it's on the radio and there's a billion people in LA and there's probably a billion people <laughs> listening to my song at this moment. So it's it's exciting. And so I do see that excitement still there for artists, young and old, mm -hmm. new and veterans. veterans.